Welcome to episode 3 of the Spare Change Challenge. I'm playing 5NL Cash today. And we're going to stick to what we've been doing and only record hands that I'm actually playing. So you don't have to sit there and watch the boring stuff with, with nothing going on. It's hard for my opponent to have anything on this board that he's going to call multiple streets with, so I'm just going to check and let his bluffing range hopefully pay us off. There's no version of me ever folding in this hand. I think in a squeeze spot, nines would normally, I mean in a normal spot, nines would normally be the bottom of my range, but I think eights are fine in a squeeze situation. It's okay, we run into aces. That's going to happen sometimes. I'm going to fold to a 3-bet. i go ahead and isolate this player here. I think I need to bet this flop. It's pretty unconnected. I have a backdoor flush draw. Obviously a 7 can be good. Obviously shipping the ace-king suited. Running bad and all ends again. That's okay. We have jacks. We're gonna ship that. So we get it right back. Opening the queen seven suited on table two. Flopping the nuts. Opening the nines on table two. Feeling kind of blah today. So I'm not going to have a whole bunch of interesting commentary. <laughs> if you're wondering why things are so quiet so far. I've got this... Um, additional licensing I'm getting for my job currently and it's like 80 hours of course work online and I have to take the exam on Tuesday it's got like less than a week and I'm like halfway through the material so it's just it's like making things a real grind right now I just want to get it over with but it's got the potential to increase my income by like I don't know 50 percent or more um, so yeah, this nit, three bets this nit, who raised an early position. Yuck. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to fold. We'll see if this pan plays out and see if my fold was good or bad. Well, it was good. 
regardless of what the outcome is. I'm just curious. Um, like, this is just not a spot where jacks are going to be good that often. But yeah, getting back to the exam, I'm like, I just want it over with. I potentially could pass it today if I took the exam, but I don't really want to pay that $50 fee again, so I'm just going to get through the material. Take the test on Tuesday and hopefully pass it. It's supposed to be a, a bear, um, and I've taken one of the practice tests and I did not do very well on it. Of course, that was when I was with um, through like 20% of the material. So some of the stuff I currently use in my everyday job, but 90% of it is pretty new to me. Um, some of it's common sense, um, but a lot of it is just technical terms. You just have to know the difference between these particular terms. At any rate, so. My videos are going to be even less exciting <laughs> for the next, I don't know, week or so. Uh, but I'm still going to try and keep uh, keep these videos coming up for you guys. Obviously going to be playing the nines here on the button. It's a good flop. If he has an ace, he's likely to continue. And if he has an overpair, I hope hopefully the money just goes in now not to be opening the king jack on the table three here to go ahead and isolate the 8-5 offsuit. The Ocho Cinco, right? It's got to be played. That's no fun. Well, this guy's call makes me think that my isolation was good. Oh, see? The Ocho Cinco. I should have should have called there, right? Can't lose with that hand. I think this is gonna be a call here. Ah, he doesn't like look like he likes to fold. Oh well. I'm gonna open the Jack Nine suited because I have these guys in the blinds. Seventy nine twenty six and fifty ten. Definitely wanna play pots with those guys. Yuck. Ugh. Three bet city today. At least he showed me the tens. So I flopped trips. Um, yeah, nothing much to say there. Got a third and go this guy. Um. to think. I guess he could have 8 and 9. Um, I don't think he's going to call another bet with a 7. So I think check and letting him bluff bluff with some of his error. Potentially like ace high he could bet now. Um, so I think I think check calling is best. And yeah. That's unfortunate. I think if I ship he probably calls there with that exact hand. But that's okay. Still got some value. Almost got it all in with him. Not even sure this guy is a fish here, but I'm targeting him, targeting him anyway with the queen jack, and I do have this player too. So, um, flop a gutter. Do I have any fold? Eh. I think it's close either way. I think three way. I'll just check. You may have it, sir. I'm just going to insta check back, under rep my hand here. Go for that call call um, line. I might raise the river against this guy. Depending on how much he bets. If he bombs it, he's probably bluffing anyway. 
Or he has the nuts, one or the other. If he bets small, I'll probably raise. Does this min bet shit again? I don't know, that's kind of the pause bet. And sometimes that can be just a bluff. I think it's about the right room if I ship here. He's probably not necessarily going to call with a jack. I could min raise. Yeah, I just think he's bluffing here all, most of the time. I think most of his range is just a bluff. Ah, I wish I had done it now. I don't know. That could probably be a raise there. Um, so I think most of the time he's going, when he has value, it's going to be a jack. So the raise sizing I should use would be like a min raise or something. Shipping would not be the play. Um, I think there's just too much value. And I think he's going to tell you immediately if he has something like two pair or better. And he'll ship and you can just safely fold. Um, so I think I missed some value there, unfortunately. I kind of knew what to do when I said it, but then I didn't follow through. I'm going to go ahead and try and rip this junk. Um, this guy's aggressive enough, I think I can just ship the eights on the button here. I think I'm down three buy-ins on this table. And looks like we're going to get one back, hopefully. Sweet. Yeah, that's definitely the type of player you want on your right. All right, back. Uh, I don't think I'm going to play this one tricky. I'm just going to bet. I am going to play this multi-way here with the king-queen suited. Normally wouldn't flatten that spot, but I've doubled up. Um, yeah, this guy's really passive. I'm just going to give it to him. This is not the type of player that's going to bluff the Turner River, so I think just betting your hand is best there. Um, it's a pretty good likelihood somebody has an ace here. I hate to just let this guy have a worse queen or something. I think I can just call one street and just invest the 10 cents, assuming that that's going to be a good price for this exact spot. If anybody else continues in this hand, I'm going to be very wary about it. I think I'll pause while this guy's tank. Okay, this guy finally acted and I had another caller here. Um, I have a gut shot now. <laughs> I'm getting 9 to 1. I think that's good. Now, if this guy raises, it's going to suck, but I think I'm getting the right price considering I might have the best hand and I have a gut shot now. I'm pretty sure player 1's most likely player to have an ace here, um, or both of them could have weak aces. They could both have queens, too, um, or some kind of draw. King, king 10, queen jack, or king jack, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I called a couple of the right hands. Jack 10, yeah, that's definitely right. Some kind of gutter ball, so. I think we played that hand fine. Opening the queen eight here. Um, really draw a heavy board. I don't particularly want to just get it in because I'm either behind or I'm flipping against a draw. So I think just checking back and seeing a turn card and playing accordingly is best. Um, yeah, so that's one of those cards, if I had bet the flop, I'd be like, shit, on the turn, so. Um, I think it's just too likely I'm beat here. Um, Ace, X, any number of diamond draws, still uh, hands with a ton of equity, even if I have the best hand. And I still have this player to act, so. It's just a shit box card, so. Um, there's a pretty much like 80% of the deck there was really good for me and I can get value where I would not have been able to before, perhaps. Um, I should have ISO'd this. I don't know why I didn't. Um, fold that. Limp that. Fold that. Definitely ISOing the uh, Queen Jack suited. Have a fishy in the blinds and a fishy limping, so... Good spot.
under Repliments. Probably still have the best hand. Got a men raise a lead. Let's see, like bombs it for pot or something. Now just bet for for value. Hopefully get some value from a pair ace high or something like that. Not gonna bet too big. Pretty sure we have the best hand like 99% of the time there. <laughs> Go ahead and ship the ace queen. Tempting, but it's not suited. You get it in versus the old ace 10. And we hold. It's one of those hands that looks really great, but it's really not that great. It's a backdoor flush draw and a gut shot. Oh, how about that? Overbet. <laughs> Nobody's likely to have anything anyway. And in, half, in case they do, I want to make them pay because these guys stink. Um, weird. Do I have the nuts here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's got to be the nuts, right? Of course, he could have like five, seven of spades, but I think he bets the flop with it. I think I'm just going to ship and hope he like slow played a set or two pair or something here. Just, just get it in. Oh, yeah, he had a set. Sweet. Sweet. I'm just going to limp the five, six suited. Try and keep these players in. Play a multi-way pot. Um, yeah, I think I'll take this pot if you guys don't want it. I'm going to go ahead and sit out. I've played about an hour now. That's kind of my maximum lately. Go ahead and open the 9-10. Fold that. Fold that. Men raise that. Try to get the showdown, or just have him fold his shit right now, and that'd be fine. The games are good. Really good. Too bad I can't win a freaking all in. I've won a couple. I think I was like way ahead every time, though, wasn't I? Trying to think if I want to flip yet. I don't know. I have to check the that. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Who cares? Not going to be caring about that. In fact, I think a lot of the times when I try to add commentary to my videos, it's kind of things that might be misleading. Like, that's really good, or that sucks, but really, I mean, I <laughs> don't really feel that way most of the time. Because um, I know results are just results, and it's not really what matters. It's long term that matters, not like this hand right here. If you guys understand where I, where I'm coming from, but yeah, I, sometimes I feel like I'm just the video is kind of getting boring, and I feel like I need to talk somewhere. But maybe I'll just get away from that and just start only talking about things that matter and stay in the reality of things, <laughs> not try to. I don't know, add drama or whatever. I think most of you guys watching this are probably in it for the for the learning and the technical aspects of poker. Not really the exciting hands. I guess you could go watch, I don't know, Jason Somerville if you were in it for that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this session over and discuss it and move on. So we're all done here. Um, yeah, so the bankroll's at 27 now. Um, so I think we started 2566 or something like that. So I think our bankroll is up. Or was it 2666? 2566, right? So yeah, so we're up for the first time regardless in our um, attempt here to build our bankroll from our spare change. Um, so I think... Um, we got down to something like, I don't know, or we down to like, I have to look, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, I was down to like $19 in this session, so I made a little rally there at the end. Um, so, you know when your bankroll's this short, you kind of have to pay attention 
lest you uh, go busto. Of course, there's really nowhere for me to move down at this point, so just got to hope I run decent and can move up to the next level, which I'm guessing is, I don't know, what did, what did I say I'd move up to 10 and L, like 90 bucks or something? So if we can get to $50, I can kind of feel safe about my 5 and L venture, and I'm pretty sure I can't go busto from there. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's keep running it up and see what happens. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you next.